All right, guys. Um, what I'm going to show you today is a uh, do-it-yourself quick set smart key lock decoder tool. You know, and uh, I know sometimes uh, a lot of people say, well, "Why do you need that for?" You know, you can do it with a cradle, and that's true. Um, a smart key decoding cradle, a reset cradle, is is a fine tool, uh, but. <laughs> This is one of the situations where if you as a locksmith are coming to a house that has been uh, refitted with smart key locks, a house that has been uh, through foreclosure or whatever, and you don't have the key and you have all these locks, yes, you can take each individual lock off the door, take it to your workstation and uh, use a cradle for each one of them. Or you could find a way of being able to recreate the original key. And uh, that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to find a way of being able to recreate the original key so that once you have that one key, you can go through the house very quickly using that key and your new key that you're going to reset it to for your new clients. And so that's what we're going to do. So here we are. I already loosened the uh, back clip and... Uh, I already have the list, but just for your own information, this is what you need to have uh, to make your own reset lock decoder tool. Uh, you're going to have uh, two of these smart key, two of these smart key uh, reset tools. They come, I mean, they're almost like everywhere. They're, they're free. They're these pieces of metal that come in all these sets. So you can... You got to have two of these. One's going to be, you know, you reset. The other one's going to be the actual tool itself that you're going to, to decode. So, going to have two of those. Uh, <clears throat> you're going to have to have uh, a smart lock. Now, we're not talking about doing this right at the time that you're needing it. We want to set up a tool that allows you to have it whenever you run into that type of situation. So, sit down, take a few moments, go over this, make your tool. Have it on you so that when you run into this type of situation, you already have the tool. And it makes sense, right? All right. So get you a smart lock with the key. And I actually have that. This is a smart lock. This is the original keys. Just come straight for the package. Quick set. All right. So these keys work. I took this out. It's fine. All right, <clears throat> uh, what you're going to do to test your new tool, you're going to have to have a random key. And uh, most locksmiths have random keys everywhere. I found this one. I'm not trying to not trying to uh, advertise a company or anything, but um, just a random key. I'm going to use this to way, uh, as a way to uh, set your tool. And from that point on, you know, we're good. Um, <clears throat> now you're going to need a set of depth keys. You know how that is. Um, keys one through seven. One through seven, as far as the, the cuts for your depth keys. And that's going to help you verify that your tool is accurate. <clears throat> going to need a file. Or uh, what I did was just took an angle grinder and uh, quickly going to use that to, uh, you know, with an angle grinder, use use a cutoff wheel, and we're going to make your tool off of that. And last but not least, you're going to have to duplicate your key, which is uh, either a key duplicator like a punch or a code machine or whatever you need. But that's what you're going to need to go ahead and uh, get you a new key for uh, for your uh, for the to, to match your original. All right. So let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this smart key tool. We're actually going to cut it down. Cut the shoulder down. I'm going to show you that right here. See how it's, the, the shoulder is cut down a little bit? And then the tip is cut down. I, I actually took a um, measurement off of that end and it's point. 130 0. 0.130 from the shoulder to the tip that's the distance between 
this shell and the wafers that are, are that are on the inside of this when you uh, when there is correct so to show you what I mean there you go you see the wafers there if you take this <clears throat> tool and you stick it down look there it's right the rest it rests right on the right on the wafer and right on the shell right there and that lets you know that your key is accurate so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and um, to test our tool we're going to change this to a, a random key and we're going to recreate the key just like if you were in a house that had no keys you're going to make a key for this thing okay so hold on okay guys I went ahead and reset this now that the original keys they don't work and uh, so and that's what's gonna happen when you run into a house that has I don't know French doors with double-sided quick set smart keys deadbolts and you got 10 12 locks to change out instead of uh, instead of going to the van and taking each one of these things apart take one off the door let's go ahead and recreate a new key all right so let's start with our depth keys naturally start just like we do with any type of depth key start with the number one and um, looks like uh, this is way too high as you can see right here way way too high but this one looks like it's just right look there I don't know if you can see that. And that's a number one. So that's number one. That's way too high again. That's way too high and that's way too high. Looks like our first one that we hit is the second, second pin. I wish you call it, well, second wafer. It's a number one. So we can write that down. And uh, let's go on to number two here. We already know that the number two wafer is a one. The number one wafer isn't. That's way too high. That's too high. That's too high. So, so none of those. Let's go to number three. Okay, let's see here. Let me try this. That's too high. Ah, but look at that. That one looks like it's right on it. So it looks like one, three, and write that down. Okay, one and three. Okay, let's try this. And that's too high. We already know that one and that one. And that was too high. But that one looks just about right. Look at there. I don't know if you can see that. Like it's right on it. So that's a number four. So, so far we have one, three, and four. And all we need is to find out what these two, the very first one, and the number four wafer, what they are. So let's go ahead and uh, pull up a number five. Stick a number five in there. And it looks pretty good. Number five. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right there. Number five and oh, number five. So it looks like our key cuts are five, one, three, five, four. Five, one, three, five, four. So I'm going to go ahead and punch out a key and see if that works for this lock, okay? Hold on just for a second. Okay, I'm back. And uh, Ash cut out cut a uh, key. This key is uh, key cut five one three five four and uh we're testing our tool 
to see if this actually works. So here we go. Stick it in. And hey, there you go. Look at her. And yep, it fits on each one of those right on the shoulder, on the shell, and the tip is on the wafer. So now you can recreate this key. This key now opens up the rest of the house and uh, your new key using your regular smart key tool. You could quickly walk through the house, changing the locks over to your new key. And the old key, which is this one, can be gotten rid of, and you're done, guys.